Back over to you. Thousands of people this morning could be affected by a proposed grounding at Boeing. There are reports of the global avi aviation company halting production of the troubled 737 MAX. I want to check in with Frankie Thompson. She's live in Renton with more on how this could affect the employees there. Frankie. Yeah, Bill, this could impact a lot of people during this holiday season for the folks who work here at Boeing's Renton facility. A potential temporary shutdown of the production of the 737 MAX could impact roughly 12,000 people, according to the Seattle Times. Boeing's top management could make that announcement as early as today. Seattle Times says if the temporary shutdown does happen, we could see that take effect as soon as this week. The temporary stop of the 737 production would last until the Federal Aviation Administration clears the planes of its troubled fixes and offers commercial services again. Friday marked nine months since the Federal Aviation Administration ordered all 737 MAX jets to stop flying. This is because of two crashes that killed everyone on board, 346 people total. The Seattle Times says Renton employees could go to other production facil facilities, but there are also many, several furlough possibilities. We spoke to a former Boeing engineer who says the halt of the 737 production will have a ripple effect in the surrounding community. If Boeing decides to stop production entirely, there may be a situation where there may be thousands of employees who are either put into other jobs in Boeing or put on furlough for some period of time. And if they are away from the production facility, production line for some months or, or longer, it may be difficult to get the employees back because they may have gone to other opportunities. We also reached out to Boeing for a statement. It says, in part, we will continue to assess production decisions based on the timing and conditions of return to service, which will be based on regulatory approvals and may vary by jurisdiction. The Wall Street Journal reports Boeing's top management and board will be discussing this further and making a decision out of Chicago. Reporting live in Renton, Frankie Thompson, Q13.